Hey guys, it's me again. I'm just gonna post a second video today because I know I'm gonna get a special lot. I'm gonna use my homemade turkey to my box to control my Well, you need this little three thing that comes here. An Xbox One controller. I'm not sure on wireless because I have a play whatever. World. And well, Xbox 36, my well, first, we're gonna have to make sure it could be kind of so basically this is a tool of it. Give me Xbox 51 control or wireless control your bodies and how to make your cord on your PC. Right now, I am at 16 control mic and my other name is Z. This is right, for the download first thing, right? This shit, and you shall spell out about that later. This will be in the option. This will be for your download. Let's gonna do it real quick. Alright, now that I'm nicely zoomed in here, I'm gonna go select the project. This is gonna product. I'm gonna go to controller. Select your product. Controller for Windows or wireless controller for Windows. If I'm using my wired, I'm gonna use that. And operating system, Windows 7. Just, uh, I'm using XP. So, you might have to go to either one. If one don't work, you wanna click on the other one and try that. So I think this was the one that makes mine work. And since, well, I speak English, let's go to English. Let's click Go. And then you're gonna download this. This is software to verify for your product. Oh crap! <laughs> Sorry guys, I never knew I still zoomed in in the other area. All right, so you're gonna have to download the first one. The software available for your product and blah blah blah. Download the first one. Let's click on that. And for me, this window will come up and go ahead and download it. Alright, once you open up X Pattern, a tiny little window about the size of this. Um, click on OK, then go to program files then associate and then should come up like this so click here on new layer go to new hang on I gotta go grab my controller alright and no I didn't cut it it was just under me alright so we're gonna oh hang on a sec I just had to expand it I don't know why it got smaller alright so we're gonna go to image you could screw around with the color, you know, like, make the A button, B, C, <laughs> A, B, X, and Y, etc. <clears throat> and so, six, you want to go to enabled, left, up. Make sure you get it right if you do, like, down, left, or it'll just screw it up. So, now you want to go to stick to, enable. I press left and oh crap! Make sure you're using the the right stick. D-pad, enable, up, down, left, right, easy. These are the buttons. All you have to do is press them and just press every single button on the controller. Yeah, there's quite a bit of buttons. <laughs> Uh, triggers. Enable. Hold left trigger, hold right trigger. Whoa. Hold right trigger. There we go. Now, you could do whatever you want. I don't know about you, but it's really pissing me off. Make everything. Just make everything. Whoa. Make everything black. Make my. Make a big. I don't know why it's just pissing me off. There we go. Now you could rearrange it any way you like, and you can make it look like your Xbox or 60 controller. All you gotta do is click and drag. So there's the A button. There's the B button. There's the X button. There's Y. There's the right trigger. There's the left trigger. 
Here's the left bumper. Here's the right bumper. There's start. There's select. Um, what are those two? Oh. The right trigger button. The left trigger button. Got that. That up there. There you go. Got my layout. It's very sloppy because I'm. I don't care right now. Go to close. You could rearrange it anything you like. Just click on it and select the number you want to do. And for the trigger specifically, you want to go to four way standard. This will make you move diagonally when you're playing games and stuff. Then you could go to WSAD. Yeah. Arrows. Alright, so. And that's that basically. Alright, now making your mic work. Alright, so to make your mic work, you want to go to start, go to control panel. Take your time while you're at it. Um, make sure if yours comes up looking like this, you want to go over here, click to switch the classic view, and look at all these. Now you got all these. And go to sound and devices. Um, was that it? Um, hang on, because I'm pretty sure I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, it was the right thing. You want to go to audio. Go to default device. Then there's the modern one, line record. Then there's that. I don't know if you could see it. I'm just gonna zoom in real quickly for you guys. That's all. There, I'm all zoomed in so you guys can see better. Alright, so remember audio. And select headset. T, S, whatever. It should have pad. Well, 360 pad. Right there. And click on it. Go to apply. And go to OK. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. And, well, have fun. You can, this should work on MSN, uh, maybe a game where you could talk, like Combat Arms or World of Warcraft. I don't know if you could talk on those. I don't know. You're going to have to download a program, maybe. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. I might, I might not. You know, it's just something... That might pop up randomly. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.